Welcome to part two of my video, Digital Dyno Testing of Various Performance Parts. I'm using a Moto Bravo scooter with a GY6 engine. I'm adding various performance parts and testing each modification with a digital dyno. I'm recording the timed average of three runs over a set area. We're focusing on the change from baseline and not the baseline itself. Essentially, did each modification make the bike go faster? We'll be doing three things in the video. We're changing the clutch and the mainspring. We're changing the jets on a stock 24 millimeter carburetor. We're changing the variator and testing various ramp weights for the variator. First, let's look at my baseline. I have a 59 millimeter cylinder. I have a new coil, CDI, and platinum plug. I have a stock variator and stock clutch. I have a stock 24 millimeter carburetor with a 103 jet and a stock intake. My bike weighs 248 pounds. The total weight is 430 pounds. Now here are both my drag times and acceleration times at baseline. Remember my goal was to measure the change from baseline and not focus on the absolute numbers. First up was a performance clutch with a 1500 mainspring. The chrome outer bell looks nice but I was more interested in the performance. Does it add anything? Let's look at both the drag and acceleration times. The red line represents the new clutch and mainspring. On the drag times, we have a 15% improvement at a quarter mile. On the acceleration times, we have a 48% improvement at 0 to 40 miles per hour. The maximal velocity increased to 54 miles per hour, so I can now add 0 to 50 acceleration times. So at $120, this was a significant improvement and well worth the money. For those that have asked, I bought this at kidandmeparts.com. Next, I figured it was time to play with the carb jetting. It came with a stock 24 millimeter carburetor and a 103 jet. It was my hope that a larger jet would equal a faster bike. For this one, we were only concerned with the maximal velocity and maximal RPM. But, as you can see here, both the maximal velocity and maximal RPM went down with a larger jet size. Since there was no significant difference between the 103 and 110 jet, I stayed with the larger of the two and went on with testing. So a larger jet actually equaled a slower bike. Although the jets were cheap, they weren't worth any money. Next up was a DR2 or dual ramp variator I bought from KidandMeParts.com. It is a dual ramp design. The short ramps reportedly give a faster acceleration and the long ramps preserve the top end. The first step is selecting the right weight. I used various combinations, again looking at peak RPM and maximal velocity. As you can see, everything seems to level off at about 8 grams in both weights, so I left things here and went testing. In the future, I'd like to try even lighter weights, but this is all I had on hand. Now let's look at performance. On drag times, I had a 10% improvement at a quarter mile. On acceleration, I had a 30% improvement at 0 to 50 miles per hour. So to recap, the combination of clutch, mainspring, and variator improved drag times about 25%. It improved acceleration times about 65% and increased my top end to 54 miles per hour. Not too bad for a GY6 engine. So far, I'm out about $240, and all of this was very well worth the money. Thank you for staying with me. For part three, I want to look at a 30 millimeter pumper carburetor. I'm in the process of fine tuning the jets on this. Also, I want to take a look at the stock exhaust. Essentially, I'm going to run it without the exhaust just to see how restrictive things are. But all that's going to have to wait because it's now spring and I want to go riding. 